the complex number z is equal to minus square root of 3 plus i, find the modulus and argument of z given uh, the argument in degrees. So let's show this complex number on uh, the organ diagram and it looks like this. X coordinate is negative root 3, Y coordinate it's 1, imaginary part, real part. And modulus is just distance from uh, the origin and modulus it's uh, square root of root 3 squared plus 1 squared it's 2. And we can find this angle and uh, we can see the tangent of this angle it's uh, 1 over root 3 and it's 30 degrees and argument is this angle 0 is always uh, here and uh, a positive uh, value of uh, angles is in anti-clockwise direction and uh, negative in clockwise direction so argument of z is 150 degrees and the next find a cube root of z and we need only one which is in the first quadrant and let's find all three roots since it's a uh, cubed root so there are three roots uh, in general if it's uh, root of degree of n there are n roots and how to find them uh, so let's rewrite it in Euler's form so z is equal to 2 e to the power i 150 degrees and there will be three cubed roots we start with 0 0 1 0 uh, z1 uh, z1 uh, z0 z1 z2 and z k is equal to a cubed root of 2 cubed because it's uh, we need cubed root in general it will be root of degree of n and e to the power of i theta k where theta k is our angle 150 over in general it's n for this problem is 3 plus 2 pi k or 360 when it's in degrees over n it's 3 again hence it's 50 plus 120 k and uh, there are three unique cubed roots for uh, k is 0 1 and um, 2 and if you consider uh, k to be equal to 3 you get again uh, this root but rotated 360 degrees so when k is 0, uh, theta is 50 degrees, so it's cubed root of 2 e to the power i 50 degrees. The next cubed root of 2 e to the power of i 170 degrees. And the next cubed root of 2 e to the power of i uh, 290 degrees. And uh, you can notice that all solutions are equally spaced in uh, full revolution. So um, angle between two consecutive uh, roots are 120 degrees. And we need uh, only Z0 because 50 degrees it's in the first quadrant as required. And we need the answer to be in Cartesian form and apply formula. It is given in data booklet. So we just rewrite it as I to I multiplied by 50. It's uh, cubed root of 2 cosine of 50 plus 
I sine O 50 degrees. And in general, it can be calculated so that uh, in Cartesian form, it means uh, x plus i y. And the next question, find the smallest positive integer n for which z to the power n is a positive real number. And again, if we consider uh, power or root of degree of n, we need, or because it's more useful, we need you know, the modulus argument form or Euler's form. Euler's form. Anyway, uh, uh, we need the modulus and argument. So, z is 2 e to the power i um, multiplied by 150 and z to the power of n is just 2 to the power of n and uh, this to the power of n and its usual uh, rule for powers so it just e to the power of i 150 n and it's clear we again apply this formula uh, that uh, that to the power of actually in general z which is uh, r e to the power of i theta is r cosine theta plus i sine theta and we can see that here we get that it's 2 to the power of n cosine n 150n plus i sine 150n and actually it's uh, the Moore theorem for z to the power of n and we can see that it's clear from this that z to the power of n is equal to this expression and we need this expression to be real and positive and to be real this part with i imaginary part should be equal to zero so sine 100 and 50n should be equal to zero and we know that sine is equal to zero uh, sine is y coordinate of uh, unit circle and it's zero or 180 or 360 and so on so in general we can write that it's uh, 180 k so angle must be equal to 180 k where k is any integer so n is we can simplify uh, divide by 10 and by 3 so it becomes 6 over 5 k and we can see that since n is integer, integer, we can see that n can be equal to when k is, uh, uh, since uh, n is also positive, so when k is 5, we get n is 6. The next possible value of n is uh, when k is 10, it's 12 and 18 and uh, so on. So we can see that it's uh, the next value is uh, is uh, six more than uh, the previous number and let's check n to be equal to six so when n is six we get that it's zero as required but we get uh, two to the power of six it's definitely that it's positive but we get cosine 150 times six which is equal to which is equal to one, uh, it's uh, 900 degrees and we need um, find out what sine is or cosine of 900 degrees uh, so it's 10 times 90 degrees so it's 1, 2, 3, 4 um, two full revolutions it's uh, it's eight 
times and nine ten times ninety degrees so 900 degree angle is here and we can see that cosine is uh, negative 1 so cosine is negative so for n is 6 z to the power of n is real but negative uh, hence we check 12 when n is 12 uh, we get uh, for cosine 1000 800 and you can check that you get uh, that this angle is uh, here and cosine is plus one so cosine is positive so the first possible value of n which is uh, n is a positive integer it's 12 so for n is 12 z to the power of n is real and positive so n is 12 and that's all for this question